गुड इवनिंग माइ डर स्टूडेंट इन माई प्रिभस भिड आई हाव अलरेडी डिस्कस एबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर अफ ह्यूम आई टूडे आई विल डिस्कस एबाउट द वर्किंग अफ द ह्यूम आई सो उदाउट डिले लेट स्टार्ट द टपिक सो वी नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दैट लाइट कमिंग फ्रम एन अब्जेक्ट आईदर इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड और एमिटेड इट एंटर्स द आई थ्रू द कर्निया एंड द पीपल दिस आई इज लेंस कन्वर्स दिस लाइट रेस टू फर्म ए रियल इनवर्टेड एंड डिमिन्स इमेज अफ द अब्जेक्ट अन् द रेटिना सो सो द लाइट सेनसीट सेल अफ द रेटिना इट इज एक्टिवेटेड ह्वेन लाइट फल्स अन् देम सो यू अंडरस्टैंड ह्वेन ह्वेन द सेनसीट सेल्स अफ द रेटिना गेट एक्टिवेटेड ह्वेन द लाइट फल्स अन् देम सो दे आर जेनेटेड इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नाल्स and these electrical signals are sent to our brain by the optic nerve and our brain intercept the electrical signal in such a manner that we see an object which is erect and same size as the object so the brain is the interceptor of the electrical signal so so we see the image and the image formed on the retina of the eye it does not fade away instance instances it does not fade away instantaneously it is impression remains on the retina for about 1 by 16th of a second even after the removal of the object also and this brief continuous of the sensation of vision is called the persistence of the vision so what is persistence of the vision Now the impression remains on the retina for about one by sixteenth of a second, even after the removal of the object. And this brief continuous of the sensation of vision is called persistence of vision. Why it is occur? Now because of the persistence of the vision, that when still images of a moving object are flashed on the eye at a rate faster than sixteen times per second. then the eye perceive this object as moving so the rate of faster than 16 times so the rate faster than 16 time per second the eye perceive this object as moving so when we watch the movies or the tv or movies or tv program then we see are actually made up of a number of separate still picture in a proper sequence now it is the sequence what is is that now it is the sequence of still picture taken by a movie camera that is projected on the screen at rate of about 20 per image or more per second and this successive impression of the image on the eye retina appears to blend or merge smoothly into one other another we therefore see a moving picture or we make use of the principle in cinematography or motion picture projection then come to the range of the vision our eyes are a such a wonderful optical instrument that can see distance as well as nearby object with almost the same clarity this becomes possible because of the ability of our eye lens to adjust its shape curvature and the focal length with the help of a ciliary muscle okay when these muscles are relaxed and the focal length is about 2.5 cm and the objects are infinity are in shape focus on the retina when an object is brought closer to the eye the focal length of the eye lens became shorter and the eye does this because the lens image distance for the eye has to remain constant and equal to nearly the size of the eyeball and this special property of the human eye is called the power of accommodation so student you have to remember what is power of accommodation because question will arise from what is power of accommodation and the minimum distance at which objects can be seen must distinctly without strain is called least distance of distant vision or near point of the eye for a young adult with normal eye this normal near point distance equal to nearly 25 cm 
and this distance increases with age due to decreasing effectiveness of ciliary muscle. So when we get so when you get older, our effectiveness of ciliary muscle becomes decreased. The farthest point up to which the eyes can see objects clearly is called far point of the eye. And it is the infinity or very far far away for a normal eye. The distance between the near point and the far point of a normal eye. The distance between the near point and the far point of a normal eye is called is range of vision. So it is thus varies from nearly 25 cm to infinity for the normal eye. Then come to defects of vision. So we know that normal eye can see object over a wide range of distance varying from nearly 25 cm to infinity. So, there are two types of defects commonly found in, in, our, in human eye. First one is myopia or nearsightedness and second one is hypermetropia or farsightedness. So, what is this? In my next video, we will discuss.